your daily news. Get your daily news. Good day, sir. Would you be needing a potato? Or two. Perhaps a piece of coal to keep the fire burning. Mum, what are we having for dinner tonight? I'm afraid it's going to have to be potato soup, my dear. Ah, oh, dear. Potato soup for breakfast. Potato soup for lunch. Potato soup for dinner. <laughs> I think I'm turning into a darn potato. <laughs> ah, ah, Raymond, look at me. Tis true. He thinks you're turning into a potato. <laughs> <sighs> I'm froze, clean to, to the bone. It could always be worse. At least we have a small fire and a bit of goods to sell. Ma? I'm so hungry my tummy burns. I cannot wait until Father gets here. Here comes Papa now. The king has allowed yet another tax. He already taxes every article which enters the mouth. What is next? Will he tax the trees we climb or the air we breathe? Just look at this pittance they have paid me. The king, he cares for none of us. Yeah, he grinds their bones into a fine dust to cover his wigs. He takes the very food from my children's mouths and hands it over to his herds of pigs. How will we ever pay our debts, taxes, and buy bread? Not all kings are bad. What kind of lie is that, stranger? Every king's bad. They work us till our hands are bloody, our backs are broken. They make us live in filthy coffins with 50 other hopeless souls. There is a king that loves his people. Lies. Nigel, shh, let the man talk. This king cares about his people in a kingdom where there is no suffering. I never heard of such a thing. Lies, stranger. Lies. Shh, Papa. Please, sir, tell us about this king. Is this kingdom far? It is both far and very near. Nonsense. And this king loves his people so much he paid all their debts. All, all their, their debts? Would you like to know more? Yes. 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 Let me tell you about this very night, hundreds of years ago. A night where two young ones had many questions about the king as well. A night filled with amazement, wonder, and lots of commotion. And then on my way to choir practice this morning, I la 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 So 
ba ba da ba dee ba da ba doo da doo da doo da ba da dee. So ba da ba dee ba dee da doo da doo da da dee da da doo. Ba da ba da ba doo ba da ba doo ba doo da sa ba doo da da da. Diddly doodly, da da doo. Diddly doodly, girls. Tessa, can you tell us what is going on? Girls, I have a lot to do right now. I just don't have time for your questions. Oh, come on, Tessa. No one ever tells us anything. Excuse me, girls. Hannah, aren't you supposed to be in choir practice now? <gasps> <laughs> Whew, we're almost done. Oh, for sure. We only have 2,953 more baskets. Maybe. We can help, and you can tell us what is happening. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> girls. I've had your help before, and, well, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Nothing gets hot up here. And don't you even think about bothering Miss with your questions. She is busier than I am. Sarah? <laughs> Anna? <laughs> What is happening? It looks like Gabriel and Michael. I wonder what they are doing. Hannah, you do understand everyone can see you. Mm. Is that the king's throne? Oh, something big is happening. Look, here comes Miss. Sarah, isn't that the king's crown? Mm. Yeah. Sarah, I can't stand anymore. Why don't we just go ask Miss what's happening? Hannah Sunshine, Ray Angelic Angel, you heard what Tessa said. Don't bother Miss. And if you think I'm going to get in trouble again. <sighs> <laughs> Hannah! <laughs> a big commotion. Yeah, everyone is ironing their robes and singing. Skiddly boppity zippity doo zippity doo ba doodly doodly ta da doo. Does it have to do with the king? Of course it has to do with the king. I knew that. I just wanted to make sure. What? Make sure it looks like you don't know anything. <laughs> girls, girls, yes, it has to do with the king. I knew it. Ugh, whatever. Anyway, Miss, can you tell us what is happening? Well, girls, the king is on a very important mission. Mission? I love missions. What kind of mission, miss? The king has gone to Earth, girls. Oh, How come I couldn't go with him? I've never been to Earth. <clears throat> I have. What? Yeah, I've, I've been to Earth. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. When? Oh, well, I don't remember the exact dates. Oh, kind of like the year you were born and how old you really are? or the day you took bubble gum from me and stuck it under the desk, which then stuck to my knee? I am a thousand and five years old, not a day younger. And uh, what bubble gum? <laughs> <laughs> girls, girls, this is the most important mission the king has ever done. Well, what's happening? Is the king meeting with all the earthly kings to counsel them? Mm. No, the king has gone to earth to be born as a baby. A baby? baby? Yes. He's going to be born of a virgin named Mary. In fact, they should be traveling to Bethlehem as we speak. Yeah. Look, look! Miss, I, I think I see her! Miss, is that her? Yes. Yes, that is her. Who's that man with her? That's Joseph, Mary's husband. He's <gasps> going to help Mary take care of the king. Seems like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Look, they're going to an inn. 
Miss, why are they saying that they cannot come in? Oh, they're, they're, they're going to another door. Oh. Oh, uh, wh why are they making them leave too? Where are they going now? Is that a barn? Hey, wait, isn't that where they keep all the animals? It's smelly in there and dirty. Did they know he was coming? He needs a new travel agent. Mm -hmm. Yes, girls, they were told he would come. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. They're going to love him. Yeah, I guess that's true. They're gonna be so happy to have him there. <laughs> <laughs> girls. Yes, Smith? Miss? They will not be happy to have him there. What do you mean? <laughs> They won't love him. What? They will reject him. Wait, we don't understand. Girls, the king has gone to Earth to die. When he has grown, they will beat him and they will nail him to a cross. Miss, tell us it's not so. Does the father know about this? Oh yes, let's go tell the father about this. <laughs> He'll handle this. <laughs> Girls, the father knows. In fact, he's the one who sent him on this very important mission. I don't understand, why would he leave us? We love him. Yes, we love him. But it was the only way to save mankind. You see, girls, when man sinned, it separated them from God the Father. In fact, the wages of sin is death. But God so loves the world that he's sending his only begotten son to pay the debt of death for mankind. Our king left his throne for love. He's their only hope. But you said that they won't love him. That they'll reject him. They don't deserve him. They will reject him. But when the mission is finished, and you know the king will finish it, there will be those who hear the good news of what the king has done for them, and they will believe. They will love him and be saved. So he goes. He goes for them. Look, miss, look! It's the baby! <sighs> Oh, we have to hurry now. Hey, we? Yes, we have to get to Earth pronto. Pronto? <laughs> yeah, we have to tell the shepherds about the baby. Glory to the newborn king. All right, ladies, all together, one more time now. Glory, Glory to the to newborn, newborn king. king. I think we're ready. Oh, miss, what did Mary name the baby? Jesus, his name is Jesus, which means salvation. Let's go. Let's go see the baby. Oh. <laughs>
You don't have to hide. Everything is okay. <laughs> there you are. Do you think Miss will notice that we aren't with her? I suspect she will figure out we just wanted to see the baby as soon as we could. Look at you. You're a mess. No, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Anna, what exactly are you doing? Hiding. Hannah, he cannot see you. Oh, really? Why not? That is only special mission clearance. Special mission clearance? Yes, they cannot see you unless it's really important. Oh, really? Can he see this? Nope. Can he see this? Ooh. Nope. Hannah, will you cut it out? Come on, let's go see the king. I mean, the baby. <laughs> oh, I've never seen the king so small before. How could anyone hurt someone so full of love? I don't understand, Sarah. Why did the father need such an extreme plan? Well, what did Miss say? That the king is our only hope? And something about a debt that could not be paid. Yes, and that he would rescue them. But couldn't there be another way? Maybe it was our only way to prove how much he loves them. Maybe it was the only way for them to understand how tragic sin is. Maybe it was the only way for them to truly understand forgiveness. That gets me thinking about the time I wasn't at choir practice on time. Like every single time? No, like this last time. Oh yeah, you snuck off to talk with Noah about how he got a pair of termites on the ark. <laughs> yeah, that time. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I had to shine the pearly gates an extra day for you. Yeah, why would you do that? Well, well because, well because I love you and I didn't want you to get in trouble and I am responsible for you. That kind of reminds me of Jesus. He loves humans so much that he's willing to take the blame for all the wrong things they've done. Hmm. Well, when you put it like that, it kind of makes more sense. I think I'm finally understanding. Oh, holy night, the stars are bright. Shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and ever pining till he appeared and the soul.
seen a night such as this? What do you mean? I mean, it's, well, it's indescribable. It's uh, almost as if I could hear. Hear what? Uh, never mind. You'll think I've been out in the field too long. Oh, did it sound like angels? So quiet that you had to strain to hear the most amazing sounds? Yes, yes, like a beautiful angel. And at the end, at the end, did it end with diddly doodly da da do, a tippity tippity ta ta to, a hoodly doodly da da do, a chuckity chuckity cha cha cho, a well a diddly, I said a diddly, I do. Maybe. But the star, I've never seen that star before. Agreed, brother. What could this mean? We are not. Mercy, heavenly hosts, why do you visit us? We have done no harm. We are not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy. This very day, in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. You will find the baby wrapped in cloth, lying in a manger. Glory to the newborn King. And on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. What just happened, my brother? I know not. I cannot understand. Did you see what I saw? What did you think you saw? 
a, a heavenly being. Yes, brother. I too saw a heavenly being. Did you hear what I heard? Maybe. Uh, but I didn't hear dooly dooly to da do. Do. What was that great light, brothers? I've never seen anything like it. A heavenly host came and told us of a baby being born in a manger. A king, but not an earthly king. A heavenly king of angels. Angels? You two have been out in the fields too long. Cuckoo. It's true. An angel from above brought tidings of great joy, peace, and goodwill towards men. Look, look at the star. There's never been a star like this before. It's a sign. Well, I have to admit, as long as I've lived, I've never seen a star like this star. But, you know, I thought that I heard... Never mind. We must go and uh, see this king for ourselves. Come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Oh, Mary, have you ever seen such a night? No, Joseph, I have never seen such a night. That star is so magnificent and I felt such a comforting presence around me. At times, I felt I could hear the most beautiful music. Me too. But Joseph, I am frightened about what all this means. I am frightened for little Jesus. I can't claim to understand all, but we will trust. Joseph, who approaches? Greetings, my good man. We three shepherds, we come in search of a... Well, a little, uh... We're searching for a baby. A baby in a manger. Not this big. I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> uh, that, that was just the sheep. The cat. I meant the cat. The sheep. Sounds like a baby. No, no, it's just the sheep. The sheep cat. Uh, I trained it to do that. Listen, you're not going to believe. And, and, and we haven't been out in the fields too long. Uh, really? A heavenly being, I, I mean an angel, came to us and told us of a baby. No, a king that would be born laying in a... Manger. And they said, Fear not, for behold, we bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be for all the people. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. And you will find the baby wrapped in a cloth, lying in a uh, <clears throat> manger. We are searching for the hope of the world. <laughs> Look, here comes Miss. Oh, Miss. I think we finally understand. Yes, he's the only one that can save them. He's the only way. But we will miss him. Yes, we will miss him, girls. But the best is yet to come. You see, as sad as this mission is, the king is going to conquer death, opening up the gates of eternal life. Man will once again be joined with the Father and live with us all in peace and love forever. Forever. They'll wipe away every tear from their eyes. No more death. 
no more pain or sorrow. All these things will be gone forever. And just as the angel said, the baby Jesus grew up. The people did reject him. They did kill him. His mission was completed. He conquered death, paying our debt forever. Oh, I tell you, this king is the mightiest, most loving king ever. Poppycock, I says. Sir, please tell me, is this story true? It is, and you and everyone can live with this loving king forever. Forever, sir? Yes, in his kingdom, where there is no more suffering or tears. Please, sir, tell us how. The word of God says, whosoever believes in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Would you like to let the king know you believe? Yes, yes. yes. Let us close our eyes and open our hearts and say after me, Dear King Jesus, Dear, Dear King, king Jesus, Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in you. And your kingdom. And your kingdom. Please 
come into our hearts. Please come into our hearts. And rescue us. And rescue us. We surrender our lives to you. We surrender our lives to you. Amen. Amen. Uh, where did he go? Where did he go? He just vanished. Special mission clearance. Should be a choir practice. Yes, sir. Um, but we heard you were telling a story, and we love how you tell stories. Girls, does Miss know you're here? We can't help it, sir. We just love these missions to Earth. Yeah, they make us so happy. Do you think that we could get special mission clearance sometime soon? Well, I'm not sure. Hmm. There is a small mission that you might be considered for. But right now, we need to get back. What is that on my shoe? Is that gum? See you. 